Hey brother, it's Dan Dor with Good Guys to Great Men again. Thanks again for watching today. Today I want to talk to you about something that comes up all the time in our coaching conversations and the emails that we get from guys. It's a very simple concept, but it has such a huge impact on relationships, especially in a relationship where it's sexless, or maybe you only have sex, I don't know, once a, once a month or a few times a year, and you really want to improve that. You want to have more of that physical connection. You really want to have more affection and connection and trust and appreciation um, and safety in your relationship where you can just be yourself. So what am I talking about? It is this belief that we get given as children, this belief that we get from teachers and from society and from movies and TV shows. And the belief is just don't piss her off, right? Just don't piss her off. As long as you don't piss her off, then you'll get what you need in a relationship. And it's utter bullshit. It's utter bullshit. Because what happens is when you don't piss her off, well, one, you're coming from a place of fear. You're coming from a place of insecurity. You're come from, coming from a place of self-protection. And you are not coming from a place of confidence. So you're not going to be creating any kind of connection in that self-defensive position. But two, what also happens is when we have this belief, just don't piss her off. Surely if she's just happy and I never make her upset, if I, if I never cause a confrontation, then she'll be happy and she'll give me all the things that I need in this relationship. We've not even asked for the things that we need most of the time, or we have done, but it's been kind of passive aggressive because we're not sure about how she's going to react to it. And we're scared of how she's going to react to it. So, just don't piss her off ends up becoming an expectation ends up becoming something that i believe you're also going to do for me and that's not true that doesn't happen when you have this belief that just don't piss her off is is how you should treat the other person you're never going to you're never going to go to a certain level of a relationship you're always going to be kind of dancing around the edges you need to be able to have the difficult conversations. You need to be able to stand up for what you believe in. You need to be able to be the man that you know you are to be able to create attraction. If you can't stand up to the other person, if you can't possibly have them upset with you in some way or another, you will be expecting them to treat you in the same way. You will get resentful that they don't treat you in the same way. And that'll end up coming out in controlling behavior, manipulative behavior, sulking, brooding, you know, grumpiness, all that kind of stuff. So what do you need to do? How do you show up in your relationship with a, a strong ability to to not worry about pissing somebody else off or to have a different opinion to them? Well, you've got to have a really strong sense of self and to have a really strong sense of self you have to be self-reliant. You have to be able to validate yourself. You have to not rely and be dependent on anyone else to tell you that you're a good man, that you have a good loving heart, that you know who you are, know what you want, and you're not ashamed of that. You have to be able to do that stuff for yourself. And most of us can't do that to start with because nobody, we didn't have anybody in our lives to come along and express this and to show us a good masculine role model, a good confident masculine strength is to know I know who I am, is to know I know what values I stand for, is to trust in myself and the value that I have to offer here because I know the values that are most important for me, that I know the things that I will stand up for in any situation, no matter who's in front of me, whether it be the most important person that I've committed the most to any of anybody in my life, which is usually our partner, our marriage or romantic partner, no matter who it is in front of me, I'm willing to stand up for the things that are important to me, that I choose as being fundamental, non-negotiables with regards to how I live my life. So you've got to do that work. If you haven't done that work, you are going to be looking to other people to give you that sense of self, to give you that validation so that you can know that you're on the right, right track, so that you can get those things that make you feel good. But you're the only person you can really, truly rely on to make the right decisions for you. So we're talking about self-reliance. We're talking about self-validation. You can only validate yourself. You can only say, yeah, I know I've been showing up exactly how I want to, if you've done this kind of work. If you've not living your life with the belief that you can't piss off people that are important to you, you have to be willing to do that because that's fundamental to your self-respect, to your self-worth. That's it for today. Take care, brother. Bye.